okay in last lecture last two lecture we discussing the architecture of 8051 then pin diagram pin description of the 8051 and la also we are discussing the special function registers are there one by one register we are discussing last lecture we discussed interpinable and inter priority are the registers next we are discussing the input output ports this also special function register is there this is the input output ports This is the input ports are there, four ports are there. We are discussing port 0, port 1, port 2. There. These are the their addresses are there 8090, A0, and B0 is there. This is a special function register that is having the address of that. Each port is there. This is the diagram of the means 00, P002, P07, then P102, P17, and P202, P17 is there. Okay. See when if their bits are set. Set means what? If all the bits of the port are one, means if all the bits of the port are the I am writing one one one. If all the port, bits of the ports are one, then this port is called the input port. This port is called the input port. Means that this port will be taken the data from the outside is there. And if the input, if the all the ports means the value of the well, of the bits in the all the ports are zero, then this port is act as an output port. So remember these things at the time of your online examination is there. If the ports are set, the bits means all ports having the set, the bits means all the bits in the port is one, then this is called the input port is there. I mean, this, this corresponding port is act as an input port is there. And if all the bits in the ports are zero, then at the time this port is act as a Output port is the writing here is set near is the reset is there. Reset means what? You have to put a value zero in each bits of the in each bits of the port. Remember these things at the time of your online examination. If all the bits in the port is one, then this port is act as input port, and all the bits in the port is zero, then this port is act as a output port is there. In online examination, such a type of question is asked is there because why we require this? Suppose if you want to uh take a data from others uh outside there then we have to put fff means 111 in all the ports all the bits in the port is there and if you want to give the output to the other side then you have to put a value 00 h in your port is there so this is the means if you want to uh, in you have to make a port as an input put one value and if you want to make a port is output then put a zero value and each bit is there so remember things because this thing these required at the time of the programming is there when in doing the program is there at that time if you want to make a port is output ports then you have to put zero zero value in each bit of that port and if you want to make a port for the input port then you have to put a value one one in each bit of the port is there so this is very important at the time of the programming is there where you have to set a port as an input port and where you have to set the port as a output port is there so this is the remember these things So this is the set and this is the reset is there. Remember these things at the time of the programming there. At that time, I'm also discussing this point when doing the program, the input output port is there. This is the power control register is there. Power control register is there. Picon register is there to uh, control the power. You can say your processor or your PCs goes into the ideal mode. Then your PCs goes into the power down mode. Then general. So such a things are done by using the processor is there. By such a things are done by the processor is there. Processor is having a <coughs> the processor. The processor is having such a register is there. Picon register is a special function register is there. This is the address of this register is 87H is there. At that register, they are having the bits are there. By using that bits, you have to decide the your uh, processor is goes into the ideal mode ideal mode ideal mode or power down mode
so uh, this is the power control is there if you want to put your mode in ideal mode then power down mode or general purpose mode for that purpose it is a register we have to use is the power control register is there register is there, use it as a power control register is there okay so this is the pd is the power down mode if it is put one and goes to the power down if it is zero it is normal is there if you want to put ideal mode of your processor for that purpose you have to use the ideal mode is there and gf1 and gf0 is for your general purpose flag bits users are there then this is the these are the two functions this is the another special function this is very important register is there because when you are doing in unit number four is there timer programming is there in that timer programming you have to use these two registers as the t mode register and another register is the tcon register these are the two registers we required special function register are required to doing the programming in timer programming is there so see this is the t mod or you can see the timer mode register see in your uh, if there is a theoretical exam is there in theoretical exam in your third explain the t mod register explain the t mod register is there in that t mod register you have to draw this 8 bit diagram is there and then explain each and every bit of the time each and every bit of that register is there this is very important part in your theoretical examination and for your programming purpose you have to set the t mod for doing the timing timing diagram timing diagram programs are there or timer programs are there so t mod is there a timer mode register is there t mod is a timer mode register is there okay this timer is used for the each of the two timers okay how many timers are there see in 8051 there are two timers and each timer is 16 bit in each timer is 16 bit remember it is contained you know, two timers and each timer is the 16 bit is there you have to set these timers by using this t mod register is there you have to set the timer by using t mod register you have to control the timer by using t con register okay this is the t con register by using you have to control the timer and by using t mod register you have to set the timer is there okay so how many timers are we have two timers are there timer zero and timer one is there so this T mod register is configured into the two registers. Two part is there. So first part of this are this is for your timer one is there. This is for your timer one or counter one is there. Okay, this is timer one, counter one is there, and this part is for timer zero and counter zero. Is there. This part is timer zero and counter zero is there. So these are the two parts having the same bits are there. Here is a bit for the gate. Here is the counter and timer m1 m0 is there here is also same for the gate c of t m1 and m0 is there so same bits are present in your both side means lower nibble or higher nibble it is contain a same bits are there for for lower nibble is used for the timer zero and upper nibble is used for the timer one is there because we have a two timer there. so one by one we have discussed the bits this is the gate this is the one is the gate bit is there this bit is used to start and stop the timer if you have to start the timer you have to put a value of one is there and if you have to stop the timer you have to put the values zero is there okay another thing is that if you put a value of one in your gate if you have to put a value of one in your in your gate then what will happen you have to control the timer of your control the timers in 8051 by softwarely see if you are to hello yes sir okay so in your timer get get is start the timer or stop the timer you have to use if you want to start the timer of timer one you have to put value of one here in your bit is there and if you have to start the timer of timer zero you have to put here only one timer you start at a time is there this timer one is there okay when you put a value one in your gate, when you put a value one in your gate, uh, gate bit, what will happen? You have to control the timers. You have to control the timer softwarely. Means you have to put the value of the counter or timer. You have to put value of M1 and M0 by softwarely in your program. So when your gate is one, then you have to timer will be controlled softwarely. But when when we put a zero, then timer will be stopped and we require an external hardware, external interrupt or external hardware to start 
or stop the timer is there timer will be start but it is softwarely stop stop is there but you want to start the timer you can hardwarely start the timer by using external hardware when you put a value zero into the gate is there so you remember this thing is there on your online examination it is very important it is very important and online examination is there when you put a value one gate will be uh, timer will start but you have to stop softwarely uh, control the timer and if you put a zero is there the timer will be stop is there but if you want to start this timer then you have to external hardware is required to the start and stop the timer is there then another is the c and t another is the c and t c means counter and t means timer is there c is time counter and t is timer c bar i'm always saying bar means what active low pin is there bar means what active low pin is there if you want to act as a timer zero as a counter is there then for that purpose you have to put a one into that because c is no bar so when you put a one is there then this timer one is act as a counter one is there and if you put here is the one is there then timer zero or is act as a counter zero for the counting purpose you have to use such a uh, timers are there if you want to count one one to ten if you want to count from ten to twenty then for that purpose you have to set a value of this or you have to start set as a timer as a counter is there when you put a value zero then it is act as a counter is there when you put a value zero it is act as a counter zero. then another two is the m1 and m0 for m1 and zero you have to use for the mode selection there are the how many modes m1 zero the four modes are there it is having a four modes are there mode zero mode one mode two and mode three is there mode zero mode one mode two and mode three is there so these four modes these four modes are used in the timer is there they ask the questions when writing the timer program at the time of program you can say this is your timer is acting the mode zero is there when you he says in the programming your timer is acting the mode zero then you have to put a value of m1 and m0 is the zero zero is there so this is the 13 bit timer is there 8 bit for thx and 5 bits for the tlx that means it is a 13 bit see how many bits of the timer our timer is 16 bit is there so in that 16 bit we have to use only 13 bits are there for the timer mode controller is there so you have to set the 13 bits or you have to use the 13 bits to do the operation is there another is 0 1 it is timer mode 1 is there it is act as timer is for the 16 bit is there 8 bit for the higher bit and 8 bit for the lower bit is there and if you want to 1 0 when it is actor mode 2 is there it is auto reload is there I mean you have to after 8 bit count counting is done or you have to doing after uh, stop of the 8 bit then it will be automatically reload the timer is there there is a need, no need to give any instruction to reload, reload the timer is there it is automatically reload is there it is automatically reload is there and last one is the one one is the split phase timer mode is there it is one more split phase timer is there it is act as a independently it is act as a independent independently it is a variable is there it is a variable is there you can change the timer setting by using this one one split mode is there okay because here in tx checks is this 8 bit and tlx also 8 bit it is acting as independently you can use this for your timer is there so this is the uh, t mode is there in t mode gate c and t bar m1 and m0 this is the gate ct bar m1 and m0 same is there in both cases only difference is that only difference is that we have to use timer 0 and timer 1 is there okay so we discuss the mode selection briefly in your unit number i think unit number 4 that timer programming is there in the timer programming we are discussing briefly in this point is there how timer is act as 13 bit how the timer act for the 8 bit how it is reload the 8 bit how it is a split phase in the one one mode is there then this is a tcon is timer control register it is a tcon which is the timer control register here your register used to start and stop the timer 8051 microcontroller you have to start and stop the timer softwarely by using this TCON control register is there. Okay. So this did contains the bits for timer overflow. It is contained the timer overflow. Timer overflow means what? Timer overflow means what? Suppose if you want to use this bit as a control, uh, 
this bit is act for the count result after counting 0 to 9 after counting 0 to 9 after 9 9 counting it will go to directly to the 0 it will go to the direct to 0 not 10 11 is there when overflowed means what you give the command in such a way that after the counting of the nine, it will come to the again zero. There is called overflow. And how to overflow? You can understand. These are the pins we are required. These are the bits. By using that, you can understand where is the overflow and where is the uh, start the timer or stop the timer is there. Okay. So one by one, discuss the points are there. This is a timer control register is there. This is called CON means control. T means timer timer control registers are there in that register again four division of the four bit is there or upper nibble and lower nibble is there again here is upper nibble and lower nibble is there see this is the upper nibble up to this okay this is for the upper nibble is there. this is the see these are the four bits tf1 TR0, TF0, and TR0. These fours are for the timer purpose. These fours are for the timer purpose. We have to use this. These for the timer purpose are there. T means timer. F means what we have discussed as a T means timer. And then one means one timer, zero means zero timer. And these four, these four is used for the interrupt these four are used for the interrupt purpose there so interrupt zero and interrupt one we are discussing the two interrupts are there external interrupt two in external interrupts are there interrupt zero and interrupt one is there so these interrupt zero and interrupt one you have to control by using tcon register and this is a four bit is required for the control purposes there okay understand so control tcon register is contained eight bit is there and eight bit upper four upper nibble or you can say upper four bit as you use for the timer control and lower four bit is used for your interrupt control which are the two interrupts are there int0 and int1 interrupts are there int0 and int1 interrupts are there for that purpose we have to use last four bits are there so one by one we have discussed the bits are there so first tf1 tf1 t means timer and f means overflow flag F means overflow flag is there. So we are discussing the difference between carry flag and overflow flag. Overflow flag means what? Your, your data value is more than that of the result value, which is the, which is the data types. Then this this flag will be generated with the overflow flag is there. But suppose if your register, if your register A, if your register A is of the 8 bit is there if your register is 8 bit is there and if you have to put a value in a, a register a is a 16 bit then this register will be overflow this register will be overflow means what the register a is not store more than 8 bit is there register a is not store more than 8 bit is there because capacity of the register a is only 8 bit so this will be the overflow is there same thing in timer and counter if you have set the timer and counter for counting from 0 to 8 or you have to delay the time if you by using timer if you have to delay the time for the 1 microsecond 2 microsecond is there after 1 microsecond or 2 microsecond this timer this program will programmer give by using this control register is that after that the flag will be overflow flag will be generated and that due to that flag or due to that overflow the timer will be stop is that suppose if you want to do the programming by using timer is if you want to do the programming by time by using timer is you have to generate a square wave you have to you have to generate the square wave by using timer is there by using timer if you want to generate a square wave is there in that square wave after some time you have to stop that uh, this is the timer where we have to higher means positive pulse and this is negative pulse is there after the h trigger if it is go to the negative pulse after this h trigger this is go to the negative pulse is there so for that purpose for that negative pulse we have to stop for some time and then overflow five generated and then 
higher bit means higher pulse will be generated. So for that pulse, you have to give the timing this time period. Suppose this time period is one microsecond. Suppose this time period is one microsecond of in uh, generating the square waves there. This one microsecond, then one microsecond, after that one microsecond, it will generate the overflow. It will generate the overflow flag in your timer and then timer will be stopped. And then again, next instruction will be executed there. Next instruction will be executed there. This is a timer overflow flag we have to use. This for that purpose, we have to use the timer overflow flag is there. There we have to use the timer overflow flag is there. Okay. Then next, this is the timer run. See, this is the timer run control bit. This is the timer run control. Run control bit been if you put a value one, if you put a value one in that uh, bit is there, then timer will be start. If you put a value zero, then timer will be stop is there. Which timer? Timer one is there. These two bits are used for timer one is there. These two bits are used for the timer one is there. And these two bits are used for the timer zero. Same function of these two bits. Oh, first bit for the overflow flag. And second bit is used for the start and stop the timer is there. Second bit is used for the start and stop the timer is there. Okay. Then these are the two bits are there. See here is also timer zero. Timer run control is there. If it is zero, it is stop. And it is one, it is a start is there. The next is the, this is for the interrupt. I, E, E means enable. E, E means enable. And this is the type control, interrupt control is there. Enable, when you put a value 0, 1, it is enable. If it is put value 0, it is disable is there. It is a time. Interrupt is there. Interrupt is given by this IT1 is there. Okay. Which interrupt? IT1, you have to put value 1. The interrupt will be start. You have to put value 0. Interrupt will be stop. Is interrupt enable. Interrupt enable means what? See, external interrupt. What is use of that? IE1. External interrupt for the H h flag means what see these are two interrupts are there i e1 and i e0 interrupt in the loop is what if you want to this is a what we are saying it is a h triggering is there h trigger if this is a positive h triggering is there then interrupt will be start is there okay if you put a value zero if you put a value zero then sorry you put a value one then this is the h trigger is there and if you put a value zero is there this is a level triggering there this is called the h triggering see two types of triggering are there two types of triggering is there this is called the h triggering this h triggering and this is called the level triggering this is h triggering and level triggering so for the interrupt enabling for the interrupt enabling you can put any uh, triggering is there. You can give the H triggering also, or you can give a level triggering also. You can give the H triggering, or you can give the level triggering. So for that purpose, we have to use the IE one is there. IE one and IE zero. If you put IE one is one, or IE zero is one, then you are giving the H triggering is there. And if I put IE one is equal to zero and IE zero is equal to zero, then you have to give the level triggering is there. You have to give the level triggering is there. After this level triggering or H triggering, then your interrupt will be enabled. Your interrupt will be enabled. And you have to start and stop the interrupt by using IT1 is there. Interrupt one type control or interrupt zero type control. If it is one, your interrupt will be start. If it is zero, interrupt will be stop. And IT0 is same as interrupt is zero and interrupt is the uh, interrupt zero for the one start the interrupt and uh, zero it is the stop the interrupt is there. Okay. So this is the timer control register is there timer control register is there. address of this timer control register is the 88 h address of this timer control register is the 88 is there okay understood tf1 is for the overflow and ie1 is for to enable the ie1 is for the enable the interrupt is there you have to enable the interrupt is there for the h trigger and for the level trigger is there for the h trigger and for level trigger is there so this is the two registers are there one is for the t mod register and second is the t register these two registers are required when you are working with the timer programming when you are working with the timer programming we require these two register you have to set the timer by using these two register and do the programming is there so this is the t mod and t is there 
the next is the buffer register buffer register this register is used for the serial communication this register is used for the serial communication buffer means what you have to store the some values there buffer means what you have to store the some values there. this is called the serial buffer is there this is called the serial buffer is there you have to put 8 bit is there 0 to 7 is the 8 bit you have to store 8 bit data in your buffer is there this buffer is used in the serial communication this buffer is used, used in the serial communication where we have to use suppose you want to give a data from inside to the outside is there means 8051 is having one data you have to give the data to the outside is there suppose you want to give the data to the lcd displays there if you want to give the data lcd displays there so where you have to put the data when giving to the 8051 then you have a buffer register where for sometime it's for for a value it's stored into this buffer and after this s buffer which deliver the data to the your lcd display or maybe adc maybe a dsc which is you have to connect it to the 8051 is there so it serves as the output port during the return operation and input port during the read operation okay means suppose if you want to put the uh, deliver data outside it is act as a in output uh, output port and if you want to take the data from outside to inside it is act as a input port is there or by input port it is like the read operation and for the output port it is act as a write operation this is the one 8 bit register is there it is a, such like a b register is there such a 8 bit this is the 8 bit register is there and it is only used for your serial communication purpose it is only used for the serial communication purposes there okay so this is another special function register is there s u s b f is there okay then another just like our timer control two registers are there t mod and t con for the timer programming is there we have to use the two registers are there t mod and t con is there but in your serial communication also two registers are there one register is s buffer is there and second register is the s con is there Okay, S con is a serial control register. When you have to communicate serially, when you have to transfer it as serially, then we have to use the serial communication, serial control register, S con register is there. Okay, serial control register is there. Okay, so what is what are the see all the registers are 8 bit, all the registers are 8 bit, special function registers are the 8 bits, only timers are the 16 bit, but all registers we have discussed are the 8 bit registers are there. Okay. SFRE controls the baud rate. So this is very important part. What is meant by the bit rate and what is meant by the baud rate is there. In serial communication, we have to use the baud rate is there. Then what is the bit rate and what is the baud rate is there? What is the bit rate and what is the baud rate? You, you must remember this. Thing. See, bit rate means what? Suppose 1, 0, 0 and 1. You have to transmit the, these four bits serial communication. You transmit this four bit serial communication. Serial communication means what? First one will be go after one zero, then after one zero, and after that one is there. So serially it will be communicate. Means how many bits you have to communicate? E only or you have to communicate, or you can say how many bits you have to send. You have to send only four bits are there. You send only the four bits are there. So it is a four bits per second. So it is a four bit per second means four bits transfer in one second four bits are transfer in one second so it is called the bit rate it is called in serial communication there is a bit rate and baud rate is there bit rate means what you transmit the how many bits four bits in one second so our bit rate is four bits per bps means bits per second is there but what is the baud rate baud rate means your transmit transmit the symbols in one second you have to transmit the symbol in one second see Okay, so 
here here is a symbol is there this is the one symbol the second symbol this is the third symbol and this is the fourth symbol is there okay these are the symbols are there in one symbol it is a two bits are there in second symbol again two bits are there and third symbol again two and fourth symbol is again there if anybody asks what is the bit rate of this and what is the baud rate of this what is the bit rate of this and what is the baud rate of these symbols are there and what is the bit rate see when you have to transmit this if you want to transmit this serial communication what then how many bits are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so by using this you have to transmit the 8 bits are there so you have to transmit the 8 bits are there you have to transmit the 8 bits are there so 8 bits per second is the bit rate 8 bits per second is the bit rate is there so when you transmit all these 8 bits are there then this bit rate of this transmission is the 8 bits per second but baud rate is 4 baud per second baud rate is 4 baud per second because here is the one this is one symbol this is the second symbol this is the third symbol and this is the fourth symbol is there so four symbol you have to transmit in one second so it is called the four baud baud per second is there so in baud rate you think as a symbol is there not thinking the bit rate is there not thinking the bit rate is there if suppose if suppose i am taking three bits are there means suppose 0 0 and 0 okay 0 0 0 to 1 1 1 means here 0 to 7 0 to 7 symbols are transmit so your baud rate is 8 baud per second but your Uh, bit rate is twenty four bits per second. For calculation purpose, if you want to you want to transfer the more data, and if you go to the bit rate, if you go to the bit rate, bit rate as a unit is there, then we require a lot of bit rate. You have to write in lakhs and thousands are there. So you have to use this symbol or sorry this unit. for transmission is the baud rate is there means you have to transmit the symbols how many symbols you have transmit in one second this is called the baud rate you are not discussing the bit rate is there because if you are go to the bit rate is there then required a lot of bits to transmit is there and for your calculation purpose so we have to use just like our kilometer and meter these are the units are there so they are used the baud rate is unit in your serial communication is there okay so if you want to transmit the symbols this is called the baud rate understood so for 0 to 7 how many baud rate is there baud rate is 8 baud per second but your bit rate is 24 but your bit rate is 24 bit rate is 24 but baud rate is the 8 is there bit rate is 24 and baud rate is the 8 is there so remember this is the baud rate so this is the sfr controls the baud rate of the serial port so by using scon you have to control the baud rate is there so this is the concept of baud rate and bit rate is there then go to the scon is there serial control is there control the serial port okay serial port also contains the flags means it is sent and receive the data you have to transfer the data or you have to receive the data is there so here is sm0 and sm1 and sm2 is there sm0 sm1 and sm2 is there so this sm0 and sm1 is used for the select the mode of operation is serial port universal asynchronous receiver transmitter is there uart is there so here there is a programming also we are discussing the alternate programming again scon register is there so here is the 0 0 is mode 0 Here is the zero zero mode zero. So eight bit ship register is transport. Eight bit ship register transport. If it is zero one, then eight bit also transport is there. If it is one zero mode two nine bit transport is there, and one one it is nine bit. So what is the meaning of eight bit and nine bit? What is the meaning of the eight bit and nine bit? See, suppose if I want to transport the eight bit is there. If you suppose I want to transport the eight bit is there. Suppose eight bit is one 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 zero one one one. Okay, so this is the eight bit data you transfer. When this bit will be transmitted, so how can receiver understand or how can transmitter understand that all data will be come? So must be joyous upon eight bit part. When you transmit the eight bit is there, then how can transmitter or receiver understand that transmitter understand must know that this is the 
only 8 bit they transfer from the receiver is there and receiver okay understand that okay all data will be transmitted to the transport is there so when 8 bit will be come to the transmitter receiver side after 8 bit there will be one bit will be come they may be zero they may be one depending upon the manufacturer or depending on the person who send the data is there the person who send the data you can put a value zero or you can put a value one depending upon the person you send the data is there so after this 8 bit suppose uh, sender thing the uh, sender and receiver understood that both of them think that only zero will be transmitted after the transmission of the 8 bit is there when all 8 bit will be transmitted then transmitter send a 9 bit which is the zero is there it sends the 9 bit which is the zero is there and when 9 bit come to the receiver receiver put all 8 bit and after 8 bit if receiver get the zero bit after 8 bit if receiver get the 0 bit then receiver conclude that all the data which is transmitted by the transmitter received to the receiver is there all the data transmitted by the transmitter that received by the receiver so there is no data is which is transmitted by the transmitter which is not received by the receiver is there so 9 bit is used used for all the data which is transmitted by the transmitter is received to the receiver so for that purpose we have to use these two modes which is the mode 2 and mode 3 is there if you want to uh, confirm the data for that purpose we have to use 10 and 112 and mode 3 for that purpose we have to use the 9 bit is there we have to use the 9 bit to transmit the data is there okay understood this is used for the mode is there then then this is the REN. REN means RE means first what? What is use of? It is enable data for receiving via serial communication or zero when it is disable the data for serial communication. It is a disable the data for the serial communication. It is one. It is one enable the data and if it is zero, it is disable the data. 1 it is enable the data and 0 it is disable the data for the serial communication is there then this is the tb0 tb0 c understood that t means transmission r means receiver t means transmission r means receiver ti means transmit interrupt and ri means receive interrupt ti means transmit interrupt ri means receive interrupt is there so db0 means what this bit is used to enable or disable the transmission of the 9 bit okay in mode 2 and 3 in mode 2 and 3 you have to transmit the 9 bit if you want to transmit the 9 bit from 2 and 3 modes because in 1 and 2 mode there is no facility to transmit the 9 bit is there only or transmit the 8 bit is there but if you want to transmit the 9 bit if you want to transmit the 9 bit then mode in mode 2 and 3 if you put a value 1 in where in transmitter value if it is put a value 1 then your transmitter transmit the 9 bit then your transmitter transmits the 9 bit and if you put a value 0 if you put a value 0 then transmitter only transmit the 8 bit is there if you are in the mode 2 if you are in the mode 2 but only transmit transmit the 8 bit because your db0 is 0 is there so db0 is the sorry db not 0 this is db8 is there not 0 these 8 are there db8 is the only you have transmit the 8 bit is there not 9 bit is there again same for the receiver purpose in same receiver is there if there is a receiver if you put a value 1 in rb8 is there then only the uh, 9 bit will be transmitted if it is put 0 then only a 8 bit transmitter is will be there then this is the ti and ri is the transmit flag and receiver flag ti and ri is the transmit flag and the receiver flag is there for the transmission but if you it is 1 your transmit data if you have to put ti is the 0 then ri is the one then you have to receive data from the outside is there and if ri is zero and ti is one your transfer data to the outside is there and tb8 and rb8 is used to tb8 and rb8 is used to transmit the nine bit for what purpose all data will be transferred by transport is correct or not is there so s con register is for serial communication we are doing the programming serial communication we are used to put a value here and this value is put in the program and then you will do the serial communication is there there is a programming also in your fourth uh, fourth unit is there programming with the timer and program with the serial communication is there so this is the scon is the special function register scon is the 
special function register is there okay then next is the th0 and tl0 next the th0 and tl0 is there so for timer 0 for timer 0 for timer 0 it consists of the two sfr which is the tl0 and th0 which is the tl0 and th0 tl0 is the lower byte and th0 is the higher byte tl0 is the lower byte and th0 is the higher byte each bit it's each TS0 is can 8 bits. Here is also a it contains the 8 bit is there. So LSB is bit 0 to bit 7. And for the higher bit, bit 8, bit 0 to bit 7, you can say the bit 8 to bit 15 is there. Okay. When you have to reset TL00H and TH00H is there. When you want to reset the TL00H and TH00H is there. Next for the timer 1, timer 1 is the same. Timer 1 for the TL1. For timer 1, TL1 for the lower byte, TH0 for the higher byte. Timer 1, TL0 for the lower byte, TH1 for the higher byte is there. Okay. So this is the bit 15 to bit 18 and bit 0 to bit 7 is there. TL1 is there and TH0 is there. Okay. So this is when you reset, your value will be 00 H is there. So this is the reset value is there. And this is the address of this is 8B and 8BH for the address of the higher timer in timer 1 and lower timer in timer 1 is the 8, 8dh is the because these are a special function registers so they have their own addresses there this is port 1 port 0 is 8th is there so same for the tl1 for the 8 bit is 8bh is there then next the stack pointer next the stack pointer is there stack pointer is used to carry the address of stack location it is 8 bit long after reset it contains a value 0 7 h so this is very very questions means questions for your online examination this is important question of online examination because you know that after reset when you reset anything if you reset anything after reset you will go to the 0 0 h is there after reset you will go to the 0 0 h is there but a stack pointer is only pointer stack pointer is only a pointer where stack pointer is your uh, is a pointer where your your re reset value is 0 7 h your reset value is 0 7 h your reset value is 0 7 h you you must understand this this very important question this very important in your online examination because they are asked what is the reset value of the stack pointer is there the stack pointer reset value is 07h because all the other reset is seen before you are discussing the timer timer reset value 00h is there or all reset value of any port is also reset value of port for the reset value for the input is 1 and for the output is 0 two two points you must remember for online examination first point is in your port if you put a value 1 in the port, then port is act as input port. If you put value 0 in the port, it is act as output port. And your stack pointer is reset value is 0, 7. Stack pointer where we have to use, you are discussing the every time the stack pointer we have to use for your store the location in the interrupt purpose is there. So this is the special function register is there. So these are the special function register we are discussing in last two lectures are there. Okay, we are discussing all the special function registers. So, port, you know that this is the port is there. These are the port. Then, pick on a program control list, ideal mode, power down mode is there, or general purpose mode is there. Then, program status, we are discussing 8 bit. SCON is for a serial control communication, is there. S buffer is used for a serial communication. This is stack pointer for the. 8 bit is there, then T mod and T con is for the timer purpose, and TL0, TH0, and TL1 and TH1 is there for the 8 bit C. Here is the address of each and every one is there. So there is an address of each and every one is there. So this is the unit number. Second is there. This is the unit number. Second is there. Okay. If you have any difficulty, ask me. So this is unit number second. See unit number second we are discussing.
see this is the syllabus of unit number six. I'm discussing all the points which they present in your syllabus is there. If you're remaining, if you get then tell me first is the comparison between you are discussing the microprocessor and microcontroller briefly. What is meant by the processor? What is meant by the microcontroller is there? Next part we are discussing what is meant by the embedded system. The embedded system is a small system where you have to do the specific work is there, and in that case, we are discussing the characteristics of the each and every. Characteristics of the embedded systems are four five characteristics that we're discussing here. Then, then, then this is the role of microcontroller in embedded system. We are discussing the role of the microcontroller in the embedded system is there. Then we are discussing the overview of the eight zero five one family is there. Then we are discussing the architecture of eight zero five one. The dimple depiction of data bus and address bus we are discussing in eight zero eight five. So we are not briefly. We are discussing here is address and data bus, then functions, pin description, or each and every pin, forty pin IC is there. We are discussing the thirty six pins are there and four pins are special pins. We are discussing the four pins are there. Then memory organization we are discussing memory organization means what special function register is having some memories there. There is a RAM memory. Then uh, four banks are there. How to select the banks by using PSW register is there. We are discussing all the banks. Selection by using PSW. So this is the memory organization is there. RAM, ROM, RAM is there, and this is the memory organization. After that, we're discussing the special function registers are there. Special function registers and address which are present in your memory or machine is there. So this is the part of the syllabus which I am discussing. If any part is remaining, if any part is remaining, then tell me. All I will I will try to take all the parts related to that. So this is the unit number second is there. This unit number second. In that unit number, you must uh, you understand the what is the difference between this is Newman and Harvard Harvard texture eight zero five one is a which is your eight eight zero five one is Harvard machine structure is there because your program memory and data memory are separate in eight zero five one. It is eight zero five one. This data memory and program memory is separate. You must know that. Then this is the architecture we're discussing. Each and every part of the architecture. If you don't understand, then ask me any time. If you want to take any repeat part of this unit, also you tell me. This is the architecture, theoretical part. All the types you are discussing. Then registers also we are discussing. Port also we are discussing. Registers and all ports we are discussing in that part is there. Then this is the pin description we are discussing. Four pins are different and thirty six pins are the same. These are the pins we are discussing. After this, pins memory organization is there. This is memory organization. This is scratch sixteen bit memory, and these are the register. These are the register banks are there. So these are the registers banks. Then this is the eight bit address RAM is there. This is scratch pad RAM is there. We are discussing all the memory organization one by one, and you have to select each bank is contain the eight registers are there. Eight registers contain which registers of the eight bit is there. Okay, then. We are discussing the program counter. Then these are the special function registers. These are special function registers. This we are discussing previously, and these are special function registers. P con S con we are discussed here. Intel RAM is there. I inter register, inter program register. Again, in plot ports, P con register, T mod register, T con register. Then these are the special S buffer register is there. S con register is there. Then T S zero and T L zero register is there. So these are the registers. The stack pointer is there. So these are the Special function register we are discussing in unit number second. If any part is remaining, then tell me. Then we will discuss briefly in next lecture. Is there from next lecture we will start the unit number three. Is there so those students are still absent. Tell them to join in next lecture because we are discussing the, all the instructions again in eight zero five one, and then we are discussing the programming. Not programming we are discussing in unit number three. Is there.